Hey everybody, welcome back to another episode of Funky Steve's Medina's, my Rogue Point campaign. So today we are going to go down to the surface and uh, assassinate a local propagandist. I'm going to get this mission done real fast, so I'll see you on the surface. It's time to get paid. Alright people, so we're down on the surface here. And the guy we got to get is up here. And it looks like... We've only got one lance of opposition, which is really good. This is about a two skull mission. So we're going to sprint straight up here as fast as we can. So we're not trapped in this valley. The faster we get up here, the better off we're going to be. Yes, Commander. Got it. Full speed, no target. We're all pretty darn slow for medium mechs. I mean, we don't go super fast, but... That's okay. We picked up a blip. Okay, there's I think that's gonna be our first victim. Waiting for orders. So like I said, this is about a two skull mission. Um, it was nice to be able to upgrade the uh, um, Jager mech the last episode. Good to go. We dropped in that double heat sink kit that we picked up and some endo steel and we were able, able to up, upgrade our flamer to a large laser. We're pretty darn heat neutral now still too, which is excellent. Oh, well, maybe we got more than one lance up here. Looks like... I don't know. I don't hear soon enough. Can we get Steve up far enough? We can. I was just worried he was going to block the road if we move him first. But we're going to move up here. Uh, Urban Mech. AC-20. So this is our primary target. I'm going to fire everything on this guy. Wow. Well, we're normally pretty heat, heat neutral, but, um, you know, on the uh, hot terrain here that, it, that is the Badlands, it's uh, kind of difficult to stay that way. Okay, did you count those? 30? Something like that? Yes, Commander. 30 or 40, anyway. That could be technically, it could be a locust with rocket launchers, or it could be just about anything with rocket launchers. Wow, look at the chance to hit on that thing. Let's just leave the SRMs off, fire the rest. Might as well take pot shots if we're not going to get overheated. Okay, that's their main guy moving now. Or is it? No, oh, it's the vehicle on this side. Okay, a Thunderbolt Carrier. What's this guy? Oh, we can see him now. A couple of LRM hits. Striker, maybe? Reporting minimal damage. Hunter. Thank God that for that AC to miss. Alright, what do we got here? Hunter, half decent armor, machine guns, LRM 15. And yeah, don't know the rest here. Um, let's reserve Saint. I want to get Hellcat going first. Just because she's up front. So we're going to move into a position where we can shoot this guy. And let's fire everything. Okay, nice. That's the side we want to hit. Standing by. Let's get up here as well. Shoot on the same guy. Hopefully we take that side. Oh, well, we got the leg. We never did change out that LRM. I wanted to get back in earlier. We were talking about uh, removing the LRM-5 from the uh, Centurion and putting in an SRM, but uh, never did get around to that. That's fine. Alright, um, question is, yeah, we can get a lot of evasion going here, crab does a lot of damage, so we're going to dump everything straight into this guy, okay, there goes the AC, and the other arm, looks like he's a stick now. Most likely he's a stick. If 
find out here in a second. He sure is. Almost nothing left in the CT either. There's nothing really on this guy we want, so it's not like I'm worried about it. Uh, let's do... Standing by. This. Affirmative. And uh, let's try and kill this guy. On it. Wow. Well, not too bad with the LR with the SRMs, I mean. It's a start. Okay. Where did that guy go? Oh, he's coming down this way. Okay. <sighs> Catapult. Now, this is my other series. It would be awesome. Because we need cat one. You just need one more catapult part in my other series. But by the time you see this episode, we might have gotten it. I don't know. Uh, let's get into here. And we're going to fire everything on this guy. Hopefully we can eliminate him. One hit. Two hits. Nice shooting. Lots of damage, but uh, no real pen. He's hurt pretty bad. Waiting for orders. Um, can, actually, Saint can't get a line of sight on him either. That kind of sucks. So let's do this. We're going to multi-target. Oh, we can't multi-target, so we're going to kill this guy then. And fire everything. Finally hit with that AC. Against a target that doesn't have any weapons. Wow. Getting in close. Don't blame you, buddy. Shooting at everybody. Damage minimal. I think there's, they've still got their uh, programming from the ammo stripping days. Or the uh, evasion stripping days, that is. Full okay, we're going to do this. And we can't fire everything. Um, let's leave off... Let's leave both mediums off and just fire these guys. Okay, one hit, two hits. Nice. Nice. There's a good start in this guy. Doesn't have full armor. Let's get the crab on that other vehicle. Uh, Rhino, it's time for a bit of payback on this guy. We're going to move in turn slightly. Roger. Taking a lot of damage to that one side. Let's not reveal it to the anybody else but this one guy here. Fire everything on his side. That should be it. There we go. Don't have to worry about that guy now. Reporting vehicle destroyed. Catapult closing. Yeah. Okay, well at least going indirect gives us a better chance of uh, not taking too many LRM hits. I'm here. Just gonna come over here. Let's clean this guy up. Gorgon, Thunderbolt 10, Plasma Cannon. This guy's got a... holy shit, he's got a lot of armor. Uh, okay. What can we fire at this guy? All these guys. Get started on him anyway. We're gonna need fire, more fire support than just that. Um, so let's get back here on this guy. Move order received. And hmm. Let's just fire. I'm thinking about doing an offensive strike, but. I don't think it's really going to give us any advantage at this point.
The initiative shifts anyway, so he got more initiative this turn. Wow. Bad move, buddy. Ooh. Got me with the tag, though. This is why I don't like having guys on both sides of us. So we're going to alter the field here slightly. And we're going to do this. And we'll turn these guys off and we'll turn these guys on. Fire into this guy's back. Now what is this guy's... Back armor is pretty darn weak. Okay. I'm receiving you. Uh, let's hold off for a second. Let's get Rhino behind this guy. Because she's got a lot of weapons. Fire all these. Target lock on enemy career. Waiting for orders. Um. Guy's unstable. Let's just move over here. Order acknowledged. Yeah, let's see if we can knock him down. I fire the MMLs. Okay, he's going down. Reporting critical hit. Okay. Receiving you. Let's do this. So now we got to decide. Head's 3%. CT is 61. 25% chances for the legs. Torsos are 38. Let's try for this torso. And we'll fire everything. What happened? No idea what happened. Did we get the torso? Where did we hit? We hit the leg. <laughs> Why doesn't that surprise me? Commander. Okay, let's go. Let's just stay here. We don't really need to move anywhere. Stay here and fire on this guy. I'm going to go for headshot. Just fire the MMLs. Head destroyed, pilot eject. Oh, he bailed out. Cool. Those are the best catapults to get because they're the easiest to get. Uh, we're going to sprint it over here. That other mech is going to take a while to get here, so... We're going to sprint it over. Get some heat back. Ready for orders. Got it. No shooting, just running. All right, see what they do here. That guy's taking a sweet time getting up here. All right, there's the Gorgon. Yikes. Shoot, 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 shoot. Well, I couldn't do much about that. They're banging through my armor. Yeah, they are. Yes, Commander. Not sure if that's the best place to go, but it's the place I'm going right now. Alright, let's fire these guys. Alright, at least we got one hit. Okay, a few missile hits. What's the armor like now? So that is the right side to be targeting, but it's still got tons of armor. Let's get up here, Steve. Come on, man. You gotta be pummeling this guy. And we're gonna drop everything on him. Okay, that's some pretty good damage. 84 damage. We get most of it in the side. Well, we got a lot of it in the side. Um, yes, Rhino. Okay, perfect. Aye, aye. We can dump everything in this guy's side. Including the small. Hopefully we hit. 
Okay, nice SRM's hits. Oh, he's almost done. Perfect. Alright, Saint, let's finish him up, please. It's blocking from hitting the crab, too. Firing. Oh, come on, man. Are you serious? No! Wow. Are you kidding me? Fire over there. Okay, we got him that time. There we go. Alright, let's get that boss. He's staying up there, though. That is where his escape zone is. So we are going to move up there relatively slowly. We want to make sure we get all our heat back. He's waiting for us. That's fine. We will have our heat back by the time we get up there. We want to make sure we all round this corner at the same time. So two more turns and we'll be there. Ready for orders. We're all going to go the same way. Want to be applying damage from all of the same, like same point, same side, same everything. Just hanging out in that mineral field. Commander. On the move. Full speed. Okay. Should be able to round this corner next turn. Hopefully we'll all be able to see him. Ooh, we can see him now. Roger. Just depends on where he moves, I guess. Waiting for orders. Roger. Alright. Oh you chicken, where are you going? It's a porcupine. Well, now we know why he hasn't been shooting at us a whole lot. Well, that was kind of like counterproductive or whatever you want to call it. Just kind of a huge letdown. Two RL5s. You got machine gun arrays though. That's kind of cool. He's got low armor though. Dump everything on him. He's gonna he's got a lot of damage resistance too, so we really need to take his leg as fast as we can. Um A leg anyway. Got low chance to hit though, so we just wanna hit him. Hopefully something gets opened up here soon. Waiting for orders. Let's get a little closer on this guy with Rhino. Fire everything. Like even the SRMs are doing like three damage. Yes, Commander. Now do I go around? Now I can get in on visibility here. All right, let's hope the AC does something. This guy moves on 23. Wow. All right, it did hit. 23 damage though. Is he going to close with us? Wow, look at that splash damage. Kind of got lucky I didn't get hit in the head there. Wow. How many times are you going to shoot, buddy? Huh. Interesting, kind of. I have no idea. 
the hell he was doing, but sure. All right, let's try to blast his side open. He didn't move very far. I'm gonna fire everything on his side. Okay, there's the start of instability. I'm here. I'm gonna get, um, I think Saint next. If we can get that AC to land. That's gonna be a good, nice, some, some nice instability there. I'm gonna fire that. Okay, we did hit. Structure exposed. I think that was a leg hit. I think that was a leg hit. It was. 33 left. All right, let's get Steve next. And we'll dump everything on this guy's side. Really? Are you serious? I'm receiving you. Well, here's our chance to take that leg. Fire everything on this guy. Okay, got the right arm. Unstable. Machine gun already crit. Oh, he's not going anywhere. At least he's not going to be shooting on us. Eight points left in the leg. He's got a machine gun array and a flamer left pretty much. Oh, he's, he's got several turns to be able to get out of here, so he's not going anywhere. Uh, I'm just going to turn. And we're going to attempt to go for the leg. Okay, there's the leg. Let's see what happens when he falls here. So he's got six of seven. <laughs> well, we're not <laughs> not taking his head anytime soon. Uh, unless we blow it right off. But I think we're probably better off just shooting for the leg here. Leave the small laser off, fire everything else in the leg. Well, there we go. Not much you can do about that. Target neutralized. All right, so we made 271,000, not bad at all. And we didn't take any internal structure damage, but we did take a few hefty hits. So now we got to decide what we want out of this. So scrolling down here, there's a machine gun array, which is kind of nice. Um, SRM4 streaks, Thunderbolt 10, combat shield, DNI cockpit, fusion core. And that's it. But I'm thinking, because there's so many catapult parts here, we're going to take two of those and hope for a lot more. So let's confirm. Okay, we got one more catapult piece. Not bad. Urban mech part, plasma cannon, nice RL5. We did get the DNI cockpit. That's excellent. So we can drop that into something. Minus 10% damage taken, plus one melee. That could probably go in plus three initiative too. That can probably go in the hunchback. The hunchback seems to be taking a lot of damage. All right, so Wolf took anywhere from bulk rate, and twenty-three thousand. Not bad. Not bad at all. Twelve days. Huh. Hunchback is six. Five. One, so six days and seven, eight days in total. Unless we do it this way, then it's seven days in total. Cool, so we're gonna get our mechs back. Seven days, that's not bad. We'll get our mechs back and then we'll check our pilots. Um, and then we'll look at maybe putting in the DNI cockpit into the hunchback. I think probably that's where it should be going. Um, actually, let's do that first so I don't forget here. So let's go to the hunchback and refit. We'll put the DNI cockpit in here, I think. Uh, equipment. DNI cockpit, let's just drop it right in here. I think for sure this is probably the right mech to put it in out of all of our mechs. And we'll confirm that one day. On I'll let you know when that's done. Is there anything new in the store? I don't think so. I see 20 double plus. I think it's store dependent now. Cockpit injury, that's a, not a bad, another pretty good one. Ballistic and energy. Yeah, well, we the prices dropped slightly. They were 300000 the last time we looked. So that's pretty good. 
All right, so one data for the Hunchback to come back. So that's great. And then we're going to go to MechWarriors. Let's have a look now if we got anything that we can add to our guys here. So Hellcat, probably I was saving up for um, Gunnery. But I'm thinking piloting is going to help more with initiative. I think probably that's the way we want to go. I'm going to, I'm going to spend the remaining points on tactics. I want to kind of get our mechs up like I normally like, or with at least fours across the board. So let's confirm that. Um, Rhino, I think we're going to go piloting. Going to go this route, I think. And Rocky doesn't quite have enough for anything here. And Saint, going to go with the piloting. I think that's going to make a big difference. I think that's one of the reasons why Steve's got such a high initiative. One, because of the, the helmet that he's wearing, or the cockpit, sorry, but... The other thing is because he's got piloting four, gives him an extra couple points. So I think that's probably a good idea the way we've got it laid out here. So we're going to end the episode here. If you like it, please leave a like. Um, if you haven't subscribed to my channel, please do subscribe. I've got three different series going on right now. Uh, there's planning to be more over the Christmas holiday. So yeah, um, if uh, you like the video, drop a like. And until next time, we'll see you all later.